Okay then, uh, we're looking at uh, question 8 now, part B from the January 2009 BY1 paper. This question is on uh, water, okay, and uh, this is uh, 10 marks again. Um, you're asked to explain how the properties of water are important to plants and animals. Uh, use examples where appropriate, okay. Uh, so um, there, there is rather a lot that you can write about water. Um, now obviously you've only got a limited amount of time. Uh, to write these long answer questions, but you need to write in as much relevant information as you can uh, in the time that remains. Okay, uh, but in this uh, this essay on water, you need to be talking about um, the properties of water. So, for example, talk about uh, it being polar. Uh, talk about the dipoles in water. Um, talk about the slightly positive uh, hydrogens, the slightly negative oxygen. Okay, the hydrogen bonding, of course, between the water molecules, that needs to be put in. Uh, then you've got your whole list then of the actual um, functions of water and how they're important to plants and animals. And that's quite a substantial list. Uh, you can talk about uh, heat capacity, uh, heat of vaporization. You can talk about the universal solvent. Okay, uh, you can talk about... Um, uh, the features of ice, uh, that ice floats on water, okay. Um, you can talk, talk about the use of water in photosynthesis, okay. There's a tremendous amount of features of water you can talk about. But while you're doing that, you also need to explain how that, those features are important to plants and animals. So, for example, let's, let's take the, uh, the case of the uh, heat of vaporization. Um, water has a high uh, heat of vaporization. Okay, uh, why is that important um, to plants and animals? Uh, well, it's that feature that allows water to act as a uh, coolant. Okay, um, so for example, in an animal that's uh, sweating, okay, uh, as the water evaporates from the surface of the, of the skin, it actually carries away. Uh, body heat and as it does so it, it produces a cooling effect uh, so that's the importance of the uh, high uh, heat of vaporization uh, to organisms it acts as a as a coolant okay um, the other feature of course uh, water is transparent uh, it's clear why is that important to living organisms well it allows light to pass through uh, we say it has a high uh, transmission of light. Light can pass straight through the water. Why is that important? Well, it's important because it allows photosynthesis to occur. 70-80% um, of uh, cells are made up of water and in plant cells the chloroplasts are floating in this water and if light were not able to pass through the water then photosy photosynthesis wouldn't occur. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, importance of water uh, being uh, clear. Uh, so that's that's really the structure of the essay that you need to do. I would start off by looking uh, and describing its structure, okay, and then go on to um, give uh, examples of the properties of water, such as the specific heat, uh, the clear nature of water and so on and then explain why those features are biologically uh, important okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type out an answer okay uh, the answer uh, will be uh, full marks it'll be 10 marks but it'll uh, certainly not include every marking point on the mark scheme okay so at the end I'll show you the mark scheme again and you can then see the, the additional marking points that uh, the examiner would uh, award. Okay, I've completed the uh, water answer now. Um, uh, a little bit longer, I think, than the uh, part, uh, part A we did in the previous video on the DNA structure. Uh, so what I want you to do is just... Uh, have a have a read through it. Um, you may have to pause the video because uh, I'm going to have to scroll the screen up uh, for you to see the rest of the uh, the answer. Okay. Um, but 
what I want you to do again is uh, wh when I pull the mark scheme up now we can uh, we can look at all the marking points available uh, for this uh, essay just seen a typo okay um, okay so there's the uh, there's the final part of the answer um, now uh, this uh, this essay here should get 10 marks okay now obviously I think you need to uh, practice these essay questions writing them out in your own words using your own uh, sentence structure uh, but as long as you keep uh, putting in the key biological terms okay that's uh, that's the important thing here uh, right let's get the uh, the mark scheme up then okay um, so what you can do again is uh, while looking through the uh, the mark scheme here you could uh, perhaps mark uh, my essay uh, state in the uh, letters uh, that correspond to the marking points that I've put in okay uh, for example I haven't um, included marking point G there uh, in my answer okay so that's uh, something that I could have put in about the gases dissolving in water I've talked about latent heat I've talked about the importance of it I've talked about specific heat um, I've mentioned about water being transparent. I haven't talked about ice. Okay, I haven't talked about ice being an insulator. And I have mentioned about water uh, being a reactant in photosynthesis. And uh, at the top here, I've also talked about the universal solvent, hydrogen bonding, the dipole. Um, I haven't drawn a diagram. Okay, but you could have uh, drawn a diagram there. Uh, similar to the one I've done in the water notes. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, that's the marking scheme for uh, A part uh, eight part B. Um, if I just scroll down again for you to see the rest. Okay, so when you come to look at this, uh, just pause the video uh, so you can take a look at the uh, the marking points there. Okay, so that completes uh, the January two thousand and nine. BY1 paper. Uh, okay.